a killing machine that one day awoke to roam the world admiring it and killing again. So what exactly changed? Now to me Bastion is a silent character and to do those well, well you really have to be careful. Understand that other games have such characters and only few made them interesting. As it is, Bastion to me is nothing. He has no personality. I get it that there is not much to go on with this hero, sure, but there are those small conversations before matches and in them Bastion isn't doing much either. Still. Why should you play Bastion? First, I must note that as far as devs have told us, Bastion is quite the problem child, as his design and skills have been reworked several times. And honestly, I can't blame them. To me, Bastion really is the blandest hero there is currently in the game, which is actually kinda odd. See, it's odd to me as when I started playing in beta and even later on, Bastion was very, very powerful. Really, his recon aka normal bipedal form is okay and in a way a bit lacking, but that's okay, since his real power is contained into his turret form. This defense hero of all heroes is the only one that can take down shields with ease. Honestly, I was surprised how amazing Bastion can be. Even better is his ability to heal any amount of health pretty fast. This can sound a bit problematic, but really, while playing I didn't feel that way, so with all the configurations, Bastion is truly a great DPS hero. Still, even now that minigun feels too powerful, and who knows if it will stay that way, as Bastion gets a new coat of patching paint almost every month or so. As the last thing, Bastion's ultimate is pretty much what turret mode is, but with cannon and movement. So tank mode it is. And to be honest, it's sorta of funny that it can also jump. And really, it is mostly one hit kill. Extremely effective and devastating. In my mind, this is the most powerful ultimate in the game. So to summarize Bastion, interestingly boring hero. At least to me anyways. 